What's up everybody? It's an exciting day today. Today we got the new, two of the new Bowtech bows. So we're gonna jump right in it. This one first, the CP30. So this is the 30 inch axle to axle counterpart from the CP28. I mean, it's basically the same kind of design, a little bit of differences here and there. Um, it's two inches longer. Um, so like I said, CP30, this is a 30 inch axle to axle. Um, this boat comes in right at 331 IBO with a six and three quarter inch brace height. So it's a ton of brace height on a short bow. Usually we don't see them that long. Um, I mean, it, it, it's super similar to the bow from last year. It's just a little bit longer. Um, you're gonna get 25 to 30 and a half inches of draw adjustment right here. Um, and this bow's gonna weigh like right at four and a half pounds. So, not, like I said, not that much different from the CP28 last year, two inches longer. Um, it's got a new and updated cam. Um, it's probably kind of hard to see in the camera. The cam's a little different. So let's pull it back and see what it feels like. I've got this both set at 29 inches. It's on comfort mode, that's just how it comes. And it's maxed out in poundage. So let's see what we get here. It feels really good. There's no big hump. It just draws basically the same all the way back. It's not heavy at the front. It just feels middle of the road all the way. It's pretty dead too. I mean, there's not a bunch of jump. There's not a lot of hand shock. Maybe the slightest little vibration, but I mean, it's never gonna be completely dead. Let's shoot one more here. It's nice. I like this bow. I'm a little more partial to the long bow, which we'll get to in just a second, but this is gonna be an awesome shooting bow. Um, if you guys are looking for something a little more compact um, without you know, sacrificing shootability, maybe the way to go. Um, just like before, I mean, we've still got deadlock cams, um, QAD integrate on the back of the riser, and the flip disc, so comfort and performance. Um, in our experience, you see them to gain about 10 feet a second as far as uh, the difference between comfort and performance. So, that's the new CP30 from Bowtech. Let's grab the other one. All right, so this is the one that I think that everybody's gonna be super excited about. This is the new SS34. I'm hoping this shows up because I'm here by myself today, right now. And I don't have anybody running the camera for me. So the new SS34. This is a 34 inch axle to axle bow, still 331 IBO. So you got the same speed as the short bow and same six and three quarter inch brace height. So usually when you go up in axle to axle, you lose a ton of speed, you gain a ton of brace height. Um, so, you know, they, they, gave you a little here, took a little away there. Um, you know, you're not gonna lose a ton of speed, but you don't have that great big giant brace height. Um, 4.7 pounds, so it's just slightly heavier than the CP30, um, and you're gonna get 26 to 31 and a half inches on this guy. Um, you've got the same technology, it's pretty much, to me, it looks like it's the same cam. You're gonna get QAD integrate, you're gonna get flip disc, um, you get deadlock, all that kind of stuff in a longer axle to axle package. That's the new SS34. Let's see what this guy feels like. I'll 
super smooth. Pretty much zero jump. It doesn't try to get away from you. It doesn't like lurch forward when you shoot it. Has the slightest little like hum to it. I don't think, I, I'm, I'm sure as soon as you put a stabilizer on here, it's gonna go away. You load it down with a rest and a sight and everything. But just my thoughts. This is gonna be a sweet bow. I think a lot of the guys out west are going to really enjoy this. Um, it's going to be, like I said, that longer axle to axle is going to be a little more conducive for the guys out west shooting a little longer. Guys with longer draw lengths. It's going to be a sweet bow. Bowtech didn't do a speed bow this year. The SR350 is here to stay, so they upped the game a little bit on the other side of the spectrum. Like always, I'm shooting this 29 inches, maxed out in poundage. Uh, we'll set up the chronograph here in just a second. We'll shoot both of these bows to the chronograph. We'll try and shoot them both on comfort and both on performance, and we'll see what we get. All right, so I've got both of these bows set to 30 inches now. Um, they're both on comfort, so what I'll do is I'll run them both through on comfort real quick, and then I'll reset them both up on performance, and we'll run them both through on performance again. So real quick, first we're gonna check the weight. Sixty-nine point seven. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. Sorry, I'm by myself today. I don't have anybody running the camera for me. So sixty-nine point seven. So we're right at seventy pounds. We're gonna start with our same 350 grain arrow. Just a little bit, there we go. So, here we go. Let's see if you can see this. 314. 314, that's not bad. So now we're gonna go back to our hunting arrow. This is 435. Two eighty-two. So, two eighty on the on the comfort setting. That's not bad. Um, like I said, this bow's not built to be super fast, but there's both of them are really easy to shoot. Um, so let's jump over to the SS thirty-four and see what we get there. All right. So here we go. This is the SS thirty-four. Same thing. I put it to thirty inches. It's on comfort mode. Let's see what we get here. Sixty nine point five, so right in the same the same weight range as the last one. I hope this shows up. You guys are gonna have to just trust me. So, here we go, 350 grain arrow. We should shoot like 315, this is the same speed, right? Three ten, right there.
Okay. Same 435 grainer. Two eighty seven, so a little faster, a little slower on the top side, and a little faster on this bottom side. So two eighty seven. So SS thirty four, CP thirty, both of them on comfort mode, thirty inches. There's your chronograph. There's the horn next door. We're gonna pause right here. I'm gonna go and flip them all over to performance mode, and we'll see what we get. We should get about. 10 feet a second out of both of them. So, we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, same CP30, but we're on performance now. So just for the sake of it. It's a little heavier on the like, right at the end of the draw cycle right there on the backside. 69.6 this time. I think we were 69.7 last time. We haven't gained any weight. Let's see what we got here. Three twenty-two. So that's our 350 grain arrow, 30 inches, 70 pounds, 69 point, whatever, just under 60, or just under 70. So now we're gonna shoot our 435 grain arrow. If I can not fall down. Three oh two, that's a big jump. What were we two? 82 to 302. Yeah. There you go, guys. First thoughts CP30. I think it's going to be a sweet bow this year. Let's jump over. We'll grab the SS34. We'll do the same thing. So here's the SS34, same thing, 30 inches, now in performance mode. There is like a little bit of a hump on the back wall. It's not as bad as, right before the back wall anyway, and it's not as bad on this bow as it is on the CP30. It's definitely smoother on the SS, but you're at 68.8, so right there, just a hair under where we were before. Enough that it's probably just my scale here. So, 350 grainer right here. Let's see what we got. Three twenty-three. So right there, same speed as the last one. I lost that vein again. That's twice with this bow. So we're gonna shoot our hunting arrow right here. We should be the same thing. We should be right about three hundred if it's the same as the other one. Two ninety-nine. Right there, guys. So. Sorry, I guess I forgot to zoom it back in for you on the other one, but they're the same speed, which is what we've seen. Um, so that's it, guys. There's the new SS34 and CP30 from Bowtech this year. I think they're gonna be awesome bows. There's one more coming that's not here yet. Hint, hint, Bowtech. Um, I'll make a video with that one as soon as it shows up. Today's launch day, guys. As soon as they give us the okay, this is going up. I hope you're watching it. Um, as always, leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys think. 
like the video if you like it don't like the video if you don't like it um, make sure you subscribe that way you know whenever we post a new video we still got some other brands that are coming out in the next two weeks so there'll be some more videos to come thanks guys